I got another solo beer tasting for you today. And today what we're going to be tasting is Ballast Point Big Eye India Pale Ale. So this is 7% alcohol by volume. And I have to admit, you know, I've tried this one before. So I'm a little bit biased. But we'll go through it. Just letting you know that one. I'm going into that. Now today, this is, this is an IPA, but... I have my Pilsner glass. I like using these Pilsner glasses for my light beers. I think they make them look really nice and it really showcases the uh, the clarity of the beer. So, as I'm going to show you when I pour. So, here we go. Crack that one open. Show you the pour here. There we go. Now with a Pilsner glass, because it's so thin, you normally will get an aggressive pour on it. But it just makes it look so pretty. And you can really see the clarity through it. This has got a nice uh, orange, kind of coppery, light orange, kind of coppery, very clear, very crisp uh, color. Kind of an off cream uh, colored foam with big bubbles in there, about three fingers worth of foam. So just all in all very pretty beer nice coppery color so that's why I like to use the Pilsner glasses I think it looks really nice uh, with these light shade beers you know anything from like a Pilsner pale ale IPA I like to use the Pilsner glasses so let's go in for aroma now definitely big hops coming right off the front um, that's pretty much you're getting really that fruity flowery floral hop note you're not really getting that dank earthy um you know kind of kind of hop notes on that one like you know you get it with a lot of ipas yeah this one's really flowery um primarily you know flowery you know fruity just a hit, hint of citrus in there so Let's go in now and see how that transfers over to the flavor. So, cheers. Wow. That's exactly what I was picking up in the aroma. It had the hot the hop notes are definitely there. Definitely very hop forward. However, the hops are very mild, very mellow hops. They're very floral very fruity, um, very kind of grassy, a little bit of citrus. There's not that dank, pungent, earthy, you know, hop notes that we are, we're, we're used to getting in an IPA where we're just used to being clobbered over the head by hops. This one's really, it's got a lot of light hops. So, um, and it's, it's really drinkable. A little bit of sweetness from the malt, um, but that fades really quick. And the hop flavor doesn't lend lots of bitterness, doesn't hitch in the back of the throat. This is a this is probably uh, the most drinkable IPA that I've come across. Now I must say that when I ha last time I had this and I came up with that opinion, uh, it was on tap, and it seemed to me to be even lighter and crisper on tap. This one seem, now that I'm, I'm having it out of the bottle, seems to be a bit more caramely, seem to be a, uh, have a bit more malty notes, but it, really, it still has that really light floral aspect. This is kind of a dangerous beer. This is a beer that's at 7% alcohol, and yet it's so light and so easy to drink, um, and still has all that great IPA flavor that you can, you can just pound these. So, I'm going to pour the rest here. I really like this IPA um, because it's it's different and it's very drinkable. So I highly recommend, if you can find it, Ballast Point, uh, Big Eye IPA. Uh, if you can get it in a trade back east, I'm not certain if they're, if they're uh, available back east. I know they're bottled out of San Diego, California. I failed to mention that one. So if you can find this one, definitely give this one a shot. And remember, always drink Amer great American craft beer. Cheers.
Nothing but foam. Thank you.